Austin Rodriguez. Family celebrations, hanging out with friends, most of the time food is involved. It's just one thing that brings us all together, and that's why we are highlighting and sharing the stories of Arizona restaurants, helping the community or changing the way they serve so we can all stay connected and say we're open, Arizona. Today, we're highlighting a valley spot that has been part of one Phoenix neighborhood for the last 40 years. As soon as you step in the door at Chicago Hamburger Company, you're transported to the Windy City. Uh, my number one seller is uh, Windy City sliders, uh, little burgers about yay big, but yay big, that uh, cook on a bed of onions, put mustard, ketchup, pickles on them, small enough for two to four is kind of an average appetite, and normally we sell about 400 of them a day. Bob Pepinduras bought the Arcadia staple back in 1989. Normally in ours, we would still have salads, we'd have turkey, um, I had to pull those off the menu because we don't sell enough of them and I couldn't keep them fresh. He, like so many other business owners, is still trying to get his footing amid the coronavirus outbreak. Not only did I have to furlough basically most of my crew, but they're all restaurant families. So their husbands or their wives also had restaurant jobs and they were also out of work. Um, so it was, you know, it's been tough on everybody. To keep the doors open, he's had to slash business hours, only open for lunch four hours a day, and take a pay cut. I'm not going to get paid for a couple of months, but as long as I can keep some staff on, as long as I can make my overhead, you know, the goal at this point in time is come out on the other side. And that everybody's not going to come out on the other side. That's the goal for me. It all happened so abruptly, but slowly he's starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You asked me this a week ago. My gut was all knots, and I had no idea how we were going to get through this. Um, last three days, much better. I can live with this. Food is a passion for Bob, and the one thing that unites all Valley restaurants across the board. He's hopeful those who can will continue lifting up the places that hold so many memories for all of us. I tell anybody and everybody out there, we're here. We're coming to work. Uh, we'd love to cook for you. Um, and not only us, but every other restaurant out there just doing the same thing. If you know a restaurant that's a community staple or taking action to help the community, we want to help spread the word. So tell us about it at abc15.com forward slash open, or you can email us at openandaz at abc15.com because we are all in this together.